Hey everybody, let me bring this back to you. Welcome back to the games that inspired me. We are going forward with the Wolf Among Us first. I've been having some weird uh, game crashes with Soul Reaver, so um, after a few attempts of that that were futile, we're just gonna push right through. Um, my goal is to get a whole chapter done uh, today for Wolf Among Us and see where we go from here. I'm going to be turning me down a little bit. Well, not me. I'm going to turn the, I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. Let's see how that goes. Um, let's see. Play. Mr. Toad. We are on to chapter Do two. something, Big B. Smoking Before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. You've got something on your face. What the fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you for trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. Interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. <laughs> no, I'm D. He's dumb. Oh, you're both a pain in my hand. If this ever got back to you, <laughs> if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill me. I'm looking for the <coughs> woods, maybe. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the... they're gonna string me up, big me. That it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. Ah! You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. This fucking lab dog. He comes sniffing around this part of town. The rich fucks in the woods need to shake down. Isn't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. And to top that all off, they left out the the uh, the, the crucial part there. That Snow White seems to be dead. Making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Bigby. Look. I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... Trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No. Yeah. Didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. Are you 
Okay. You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something? What the? Do you hear that? No. Please. Please. Kind of weird. I don't remember. You have this. to go now. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last twenty-four hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. Well, yeah, okay, so that covers the precinct, but did they keep it from the press? the woodsman chained up to a post last night. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slayings. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. And he's already to the point of confession. He was involved, definitely. That much we can tell from his babbling just must have had some sort of accomplice. I'm actually not so sure about that. You don't think he's involved? He was with me whenever the... Uh, whenever she was left at the stairs. Yes, but all that means is he didn't do it alone. Will you be next? Uh. I know what you're thinking, <laughs> Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. I nothing but a jerk. You know, I never get more homesick than one of us dies. <coughs> now, were it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah. It's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things. Make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to, have to put an end to this. been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. A little bit too Sorry. much there, uh, buddy. I met a maid who asked my trade. 
Sailor John, said I. And away, you Santi, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? Look sharp, Whitman. You have visitors. Why is he singing? Some sort of pathetic defensive mechanism. Never mind that, though. He will tell us eventually who killed Snow White. I have too many methods to inspire him. Bluebeard, I told you not to touch him until we returned. I didn't. Well, barely. And yet you saw fit to retrieve it. It's hardly been used. Yet. Hello, Sheriff. Come to help? Because I think I have a secure handle on things. Help? No. I'll be doing the questioning from now on. Oh, really? Let me tell the story. I can tell it all. About the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. <sighs> Woody. That you, Bigby? I didn't kill that girl, Wolf. And I don't have a thing to tell you, so get me the fuck out of these straps. Save your energy. You'll need it later. We're gonna, all right? But we have to have a little chat first. Snow White is dead. I'll tell you what I already told this, Blue Dandy. I didn't kill anybody. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Look, I got questions and I know you have answers. Whether or not they're the answers I want, well, I guess we'll find out. Whenever you're ready, Sheriff. Why were you beating up Faith? She said something about that she'd asked who you were, and then you just started hitting her. Something's not adding up for me here. Look, I got nothing to say, so just... just let me go. Please, just let me go. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this? I'll take care of it. What are you planning to do, exactly? Don't forget what we talked about. What did you tell him? We must do whatever it takes to find the killer. I just want to talk, see what he knows. Oh, give me a break. We need answers, Bigby. Though it's ultimately up to you, of course. The kids are moving around upstairs. What's that? You want to know what this is? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Take a good fucking look. Take a good long look. Etch it into your fucking memory. I told you, I have no goddamn clue about what's going on. I didn't have nothing to do with it. You want to tell me why you were hitting Faith now? I got a temper, that's all. And I was drunk. She didn't know who I was. I'm sorry I hit her, but I didn't kill nobody. You gotta believe me. You told me he was at the point of confession. He was. He is. He said Snow wasn't even supposed to be there. Now what do you exactly take that for? He knows what's happening. All right, that's something. Did you say that, Woody? Where are you talking about? Where was she supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? She was... nothing. Nothing was supposed to happen. It's my own shit, all right? Just forget it. Where's... where's my no, stuff? No, Woody, you can't... I want to smoke. You, you took my smokes. We, uh, confiscated his belongings. For the time being. This was all we could find on him in any case. Nothing exceptional to speak of. Much like the man himself, I'd say. Myron. This is really... What's the point of this? Thanks. 
Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? Let me handle this. Tell me what you meant by Snow yeah, wasn't already supposed been to be there. You've got it all wrong. I, I can't. Just leave it alone. I don't want to talk about it. Just a waste of fucking time. Snow wasn't supposed to be where? Where was she supposed to be? I didn't... I didn't say Snow, okay? I never said that. Yes, you did. She wasn't supposed to even be there. She, that's it. Not Snow. I, I don't know fucking anything about Snow. Okay, that's something. You weren't talking about Snow, but who did you mean? Who wasn't supposed to be there? I... I can't get into it. Who are you talking about, huh? Who? It was my own fault. But... It's not about the killings, it's not! Who wasn't supposed to be there? Who are you talking about? Woodsman, you gotta talk to me, because Crane and Bluebeard, they think you're shit. But you think I don't know what that feels like, to be the bad guy? To know you're just trying your fucking best and to still get shit on day and night? Yeah, I know you do, Wolf. I don't believe this. Back off, Bluebeard. This isn't your job. Get your answers, or I'm taking over. Not gonna happen. Woody? Who wasn't supposed to be there? The girl. Which girl? I can't... Just... Just let me go. Please. Stop protecting whoever murdered these women. I don't care what your friends have told you. You have to tell us what's going on. The girl... It was... Faith, alright? Faith. Faith? This is about her? I was expecting someone go. else, and this girl I didn't even know shows up. Who were you expecting? I, uh, I don't know. Talk! Now! No one's behind anything. This... I can't get into it. It's my own personal shit, so <sighs> fuck off! No, somebody's dead. It's no longer your personal shit. Faith wasn't supposed to be there. Who'd you expect? And why? I don't know. I don't know. He's beat. You ever sober? Let me. Let me get a swig of that. Want some? Who were you expecting? Lily. Lily? Who's Lily? Lily is Holly's sister. Holly? The bartender uh, from the Trip Trap? No. Her sister's yeah. a... <laughs> Her sister's a prostitute. I was a regular of hers, okay? I paid, she did her thing, and that was it. When Faith came to the door, it just set me off. Lily usually comped me if I didn't have cash. Faith didn't want to give me a break. Just please, don't don't tell anyone, Bigby. Gren and her, that whole bar, they just... They wouldn't understand. Well, congratulations, Sheriff. We've been here for God knows how long, and what do we have to show for it? A thorough retelling of the woodsman's sexual misadventures. This barbarian knows more than he's letting on. Can't continue to treat him like some stupid American waif. I really think it's going the best that it can. Then you have no imagination, I'm sorry to say. Because my best is a whole lot better than this. I was under the impression you were just here to watch. I am here to find Snow White's killer. And seeing how much you've embarrassed yourself, I'm glad for her sake that I am. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. 
Out of my way! I'll show you how it's done! <clears throat> what do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! Snow White is dead. She was one of us, not one of them. You need to leave. <clears throat> now! Probably should just drown. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> I mean, I can't really be surprised because I have played this before, but, but yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's probably, if you're new here, or new to this series, you've probably uh, been scratching your head for a good three or four seconds at this point. What's going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I didn't lay a hand on him. I wanted to do things the right way, but Bluebeard had other ideas. I tried to stop him, Snow. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone. So I took care of it. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're... Uh, not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm and... not yours to lose. Ow. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... Myself. Right.
TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Buffkin! Of course, Miss Snow. Oh, that's enough. Mira, finish! Cancel! No. What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. What were you doing with the mirror, Toad? I thought maybe I'll catch you on the shitter. I was just having a laugh. We've been waiting here a long time. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Poor TJ. He's so adorable for being a little toad. It's okay. Are you okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady... fell in. But... but she didn't have her head on. I thought... I thought she was gonna pull me down, too. <laughs> Cause, cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah. Part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad no. things can happen. No. I've told you. Toad, you're not in trouble. He Look, Alex, scared. not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater. Exactly. I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait. You heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. They said... They said... Stop laughing... At me. Do you know whose voice it was? No! Sheriff... Did you hear anything else? No! Bigby, he's frightened. Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> you did a good job, kid. Come on, then.
That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? In a minute. When you're ready. Hey, Mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. What were you showing Mr. Toad and his son? Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. Yeah, I'll do that. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of... scum. <laughs> okay, Mirror, can you see... where the fuck is Tweedledee? <laughs> So they're not doing something together. Mirror, mirror, show me Lily. And yeah, I think this rhyming thing is silly. Some things cannot be revealed. Once again, these lips are sealed. Figures. Mirror, mirror, show me Holly the Troll, or uh, I'll throw you down a hole. No need for threats. Okay, I think that's about all I can do here, unless Buffkin has something to say. Yeah. There's no one Buffkin. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. We might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. I didn't realize. Are you gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Looks just like Faith's did. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Um... If the neck wound was the same, there might be a ribbon in her mouth too. Anything? Nothing. So, it's not exactly the same. 
Hmm. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles, so she would sink. Oh. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It's possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track marks? Good point. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. W what are you doing? Only way to find out. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow. I need to open her coat. Bigby, just let me. You still okay? I... Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? Glamour is defective. Oh. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at, just to make sure it isn't dangerous. You may be right. One way to find out. Hmm. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here.
No. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Lots of things. Is that... It's your hair. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? <laughs> that wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, Lily. I'm afraid. With that tattoo, it's gotta be Holly's sister, Lily. The woodsman told me about her. You're right. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows, she might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? Wow. It's too dangerous. <laughs> Someone tried to kill you. Big <coughs> you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not going to stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. I know the smarter move probably would be to agree with Crane there because... Um, potentially whoever killed Lily thinks that they killed Snow. Or possibly thinks that they could kill Snow. This whole thing is complete bullshit did and always him. has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. <laughs> Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... I need entertainment. This will do. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. About you. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. That true, love? Yes, it's true. Mm. So we were just wondering why, of all the possible suspects in Fable Town, why would you arrest the poor old woodsman? who you know had nothing to do with these murders. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... Jack, find the off button, now. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? Yeah, because they have a What taste. happened? <laughs> I'm That's tired funny. is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. 
And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, no. easy! I gotta get this somewhere. Fuck! What'd I do? It's an Ah! Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Grant, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. All right, then. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... All right, clear out. Give her some room. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. Holly. Get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. That was decent of you. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Subtle way to make, make it easy to have characters Honestly, leave the scene. We didn't talk Just off. the corner of the door. Not the whole door. She was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Did she have any friends? Anyone who could tell us what she might have been doing? Why she'd be a target? I don't know about her friends. She hung around where she worked, mostly. She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. Fees, huh? What kind of fees? Sounds like one of those old company store kinds of ploys. Designed to entrap people by keeping them in debt. We can probably learn more at the club. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Did you know the woodsman was, uh, seeing Lily regularly? What? He was? I'm only bringing it up on the off chance it could, uh... Jog your memory. Of all the fucking things. Now, there's nothing more I can give you. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Of course. Okay. Good. 
Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. I may have to blur stuff. Really? Thanks. It just made everything easier. We'll see what I can do about editing out what he's like if I recall, somebody is is dancing at, at Georgie's club and they're not exactly the best entire for a family family friendly game. <coughs> of course with all the F bombs being dropped, it's not quite what uh not quite exactly. Right, right next to the deli. <laughs> oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty, but the club's closed. <laughs> not quite what I meant. That's too bad. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. Yeah, a very special way with people. Usually it involves a lot of snarling. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie. Feel the thunder. Where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu. And discretion is our guarantee. Yep, I was right. I uh, hope I can blur Fox. stuff. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. You fucking dozy bitch. Nice place. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? Hey. You're supposed to turn the clients on. Hey. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight maybe. I can hook you up. Or uh, knowing you, you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me. Do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that! <laughs> you just stopped in for the chips, then? Jesus, Bigby, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, alright, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. When did you hear about it? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. 
In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. It's sick. Ha! <laughs> That's quaint. Especially coming from you. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then! You're gonna hit me? Go ahead! That's what you wanna do, right? One more time. Who hired her? Oh no, fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? I'm gonna have to proud of your little mess. So much. Fuck's sake. Hansel got jacked. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my coat. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property! <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. So give me a clue. Hey, no. Show me the book. And why does he think there's a book? Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Why is he Don't confused, even think then? about it. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Don't Everyone's don't guilty. Don't. We fucking get it. Jesus, no, we just want you're killing me. Just I'm begging you. I'll pay you. 
two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. So you did have a key. Bloody come on, then. Prick. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here. Is that so bad? This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Ants knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Seven. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Ain't much to complain about. I didn't smash anything. Hello? I wanted business to, office. I really... This is already empty. Faith. Lock's been busted open. Broken open. But there isn't even a lock. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Well, that okay. jibes with what it's the woodsman told, told me. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? 
This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Okay. Oh, I, uh, I don't, uh... Wait here for a second. Seven? You'll think of something. Probably the best you could do, buddy. The open you know arms. Where to go next. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Smart girl. Although it did suck that I just caught that. It cost her 150 bucks. Probably repair that. I don't think that phone's anything there. like the lobby. They should cut their rates. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, um, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie, Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Have you seen Snow White down here? 
Or maybe somebody glamoured as her. You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that... I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see you report. It's just... You're asking me to lie. Not lie, just not include my name. Just say you talk to the clerk or something. You'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. Which one was it? We, we don't have to listen to that. We don't need to know what that is. They're... 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 they're um... Yeah. You have keys to they're these not, rooms? It, I it, thought you it's had family friendly. Family not friendly. to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no! Wait a oh, minute! Um, How could you do this? We've been together you. through everything! I took care of you! I love- It's not what you think! Please! You're cheating on me! With him?! No, no, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! I know what this place is! Relax, Beast. It's not what you think. Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm mad! Ah! Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! Listen to your wife! Just calm down and- Beast! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! He himself. She's my wife, Big B! Buddy, I don't wanna- I told you! I don't wanna do that to really. me! Fight's dirty. I, I don't want to do this. I don't. I don't. You ruined everything. Jeez. She's my. F <sighs> there. Flowers. What have you done? What? What is this? Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You, you don't want to see this. Oh, shit. 
What is it? Oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... so that's... Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But- Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand, in case there was any doubt over who died here. We shouldn't even be in here. Do you smell something? No, just apple. <sighs> what is that? It's, so it's a book about Snow White, or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Hmm. What is it? I think the apple is part of his fantasy about Snow White. That would explain the one we found on the floor. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. They were acting out the thing with her stepmother and the apple, which is really creepy when you think about it. You know she almost died when... Uh... Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Oh no. What? What is it? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is just bizarre. This guy really has a thing about snow. It's like pathological. I'm getting that feeling, yes. Oh my god, that poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... It sounds like there was a series of choices involved. I'm sure she'd have done things differently if she knew where things were headed. Yeah. He must have been so scared. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Hmm. Get it together, beauty. Be strong. 
Bigby, this? I think I heard this music. Last night, it was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then, and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it. To recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It's another match to what's in the book. Which would mean God, that the, the... I can see the whole picture now. All those little things it, that were wrong in like Snow's glamour wouldn't matter. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details <laughs> noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Ah. of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. I bet she His knew. stand in for snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. Ew. You dipshit. Uh-oh. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Me too. <laughs> Even if ultimately he didn't do it. We don't know that. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. I am gonna shave your skin off one sheet at a time. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Is that you? Okay. You know, that's not a really fair assessment, though, that how to sympathize with Crane, because somebody, you, you expected somebody to die, so you treat people nicer. People normally do. I mean, unless you're a complete psychopath or you think they did it from the start. Mm hmm. <coughs> mm hmm. 
Hmm, sorry about that. Got real quiet because I knew it was going to happen. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for playing along with me, and hopefully we'll see more of The Wolf Among Us um, next month. Um, I'm going to keep focusing on trying to fix the problem with Soul Reaver so that we can have that as our second Let's Play of the month. Uh, I hope you're having a great April. Stay brilliant, everybody.